Pilchard's great bait, lovely and oily, but what they tend to do is get a bit soft and will fall off or get picked to pieces pretty quickly. So the ideal way to hook them onto a, a rig is simply we use a seven barrow hook or eight barrow, nothing smaller than that because we want the hook exposed. So here we go, what we need to look at first and foremost, there's his gill plate there, but there's a false gill plate there. So if I push the hook directly through and pull that line straight out like that, it's gone through there. We then take the hook again and we go through just below this line where you'll see the colour difference between the top and the bottom. We know that that is where the rib cage is and the backbone. So it's gone through, through the jaw, underneath the backbone and again we're going to push it down. That's an offset hook. You can see how it's bent off to one side. If we push it down there it goes down one side of the backbone. As we rotate that forward you can see that it's come on the other side of the backbone. So when we tighten that line down there, through the jaw, round the whole backbone of the fish and the uh, hook itself is round the backbone. Critical thing is, you see a tiny scale there, that will prevent it penetrating into a fish. So we just take that off. But you can see now, the hook is exposed. Fish don't see that, they're not worried about that. But what happens, you'll feel a few bites happening, and then when that solid bite comes on, that fish has got that in his mouth. So when you strike, you drag that straight up. If you put your hook around through the other way, the curve of the hook is pushing into the fish and that's why so many fish are dropped because they're not being hooked into the jaw, it's gone back into the side of the flesh there and won't hook up at all.